All right? Then when you reach at this stage, you go for what we call the lowest common uh, for the night chains. Right? And the one of our videos we had a presentation on uh, light chains. So if you, you may not be very clear on how to go about it, just like one of our, one of our videos on light and the and light chains. So you'll be able to pick. But in this case, we have. 3x and 4x, they are like this because they all have the same variable which is x. The negative 9 and negative 6 they are like this because they are just numerical values. So we, we, we rearrange them together. So we have 3x and the negative 4x. So 3x minus 4x. 3x minus 4x. Now just note here, our sign here is negative because here is negative. The sign hasn't changed, right? So here we have negative 9 minus 16. Now, we can get the x minus 4 and x minus 3. Now, when you are here at this stage, it is not wrong for you to say negative uh, uh, 3x minus 4 is there and you get the value here. And negative 9 minus uh, 16, you get the value. It is not wrong at all. But what we are trying to do this is in order for you not to be able to, to miss anything. Alright? So we proceed and say 3x minus 4x. So you have, what you are going to do is you subtract 4 from 3. So you have 3 minus 4. Then what you get? You get a negative what? Negative 1. And like because there is x here as our variable, we say negative 1x. Negative 1x is easy, the same as negative what? x. Again, like I said earlier on, we have uh, a video on how to simplify these expressions. So you can go back and like uh, that video, maybe for you to be able to do a recap. Alright? Then we deal with this one. Negative 9 minus 16. Negative 9 minus 16. Let's say when the, the signs are the same, we keep the sign and up there the numbers. Alright, so now we are going to say we have negative, then we say what is 9 plus 16? Alright, and then what we get? Our answer becomes 25. Alright, so we have negative 25. Everything should be divided by x minus 4 and x minus 3. Now, before you even underline and say, Maybe feel like that is your final answer. Check the value that is on top or the expression that is on top. If at all there is anything that you are able to do, are you able to simplify? Are you able to factorize? If you are able to do that, go ahead. But in this case, you are able to do anything to the numerator, which implies that this is our final answer. And basically, you get your, your three marks. But like I said, from here, you can come all the way to right there. Final answer. So that's how you work out that. Now, using this approach, alright, we'll handle all these that are here in the same manner. So that is the same system. But basically, you always go for the lowest common denominator whenever you are adding or simplifying, I mean, adding and subtracting uh, algebraic fractions. So we have our b here. We have 2 over 3p plus 5 over 7p. So here, like I said, we are going to maintain this system so that we are in the same track. But ideally, you must get the lowest common denominator. So what we are going to do is we'll pick 3p and 7p, right? Then what we are going to do is to divide these denominators into this. So when 3p divides into this, this is what will be the, the answer. We should sure to work out this. You multiply this by that, this by that. So we'll say 2 times 7p. So we have got 2 open bracket 7, uh, 2 open bracket 7p, you close, this plus, so 5 by this, so 5 open bracket 3p. 
Right? So this is equal to when you multiply this, you get 14p plus 15p. Everything divided by 3p in brackets, then 7p in brackets. Alright? Then we say 14p plus 15p. Here, what you are going to do is you add the numerical values. So, you are going to say, what is 14 plus 15? Okay? And you realize that your answer is 49. But because these terms have got a variable p, you also put your p here. Divided by 3p and the bracket 7p. So, what you can do now here, you check if at all they are common factors. So, you have p here, there is 3p here, and p. So, it means p is a common factor. So, you are going to say p divided by p is 1. And p divided by p is 1. So, here there is 3 by 1, which is 3. Alright? And then you have the main with 29 by 1, which is 29. So, our answer is 29. 29 divided by. Alright? So, we have 29 divided by 3 times 7, which is 21p as our answer. Now, like I said earlier on, you go for the lowest common denominator. So, that here you would have said, here the lowest common denominator of 3 and 7 is 21. The lowest common denominator of P and P itself, it is what? The direct this would have been your lowest common denominator. If you take this one I have taken, always remember to simplify at the end or at times you can factorize. So that is how we are going to work out with this in line with the first one. Okay. Is it clear, friends? Alright, I hope we have picked this something. So let's go to C. Plus 
So 15 plus 10 is 25. So we can substitute now here. 25. Y. Then we say negative 6 minus 25. Negative 6 minus 25. The signs are the same, hence we keep the sign. Then we say what is 6 plus 6? Uh, 25. Uh, and we get uh, pick 1. Right? Over. Now, since this is our final answer, and the variable to multiply this, then we can put our 15 here as our answer. So basically, that's what you do. Then we go to the last example, which is uh, D.